you have a Denzel story? Yes. Are you allowed to share it? Sure. So we're at, we're, they all sound like I'm bragging, but. Nah, that's all right. I'm friends, with, I, I'm friends I, with these people. No, no, I told the crew, I'm, this is a podcast, but I do have a crew. I told him, I said, I'm looking forward to this interview the most. I said, because Chris got stories. And he's not lying. They're so, legitimate stories. So before Eddie used to have the big fight parties, he used to have small fight parties. So uh, one night we're, we're over there and Denzel is there. And Denzel can, can drink, right? And so there's this guy named Spanky, who I grew up in Inglewood, who was a, who was a knockout artist. Hold on. If this story's going right, Keenan told me the same story. Was Keenan at this party? Keenan Everwayans? He had to. Keenan told me this. If this is going where I think it's going. Yeah, I think Keenan was there. Keenan told me the exact same story. Go ahead. So Spank is talking about how he is 100 and 0 in fighting. And people are like, yeah, right. I'm like, no, this motherfucker is that dude. When I was a kid, you heard Spank just knock somebody else out. Damn, another one. Damn, Spank. And so Denzel's listening. And he gets up. Well, knock me out, motherfucker. Yep, same story. <laughs> knock me out, motherfucker. You so goddamn bad. Knock me the fuck out. Spank without man to bat in the eye he goes, no, because then I'd be 101. And fucking Denzel starts fucking laughing. And we yeah. all fucking laugh. And I'm, it was, it was fucking hurricane training day, Malcolm X tense. You so bad, motherfucker, knock me out. Get up, bitch. Knock me the fuck out. Spank goes, nope, because then my record would be 101. <laughs> Yo, he <laughs> fell on the ground laughing. I fell on the ground laughing. I was so scared. I was like, oh shit, this motherfucker is real. And so what it made me know that Spank either knew Denzel well uh-huh. or I don't know. It was weird. But then the funniest part is <laughs> after that, then there was a plane waiting for him to go to. So this is the exact same story. I was, about to say, I was about to bring up, did he miss his flight? So yeah, the fucking plane. I think that's the first time I heard the word tarmac or tarmac. There's a plane waiting for him on the tarmac to go to Teterboro. I was like, what the fuck is this? No, he was shooting, I don't want to say Eyes Wide Show. Whatever the movie was with, with Sanaa and Dean Cain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he was like, fuck that plane. And this motherfucker is Out of time or something. No, no. Yeah, no, no, no. out of time. Out of no, sight, out of time. Like, yeah, out of sight. Something. He's drinking. They're drinking. I don't drink, but these motherfuckers are drinking wine like kings, like fucking gourds. <laughs> Bring on the fat lady. Whatever. <laughs> and so all of a sudden we can't find him. And then we go outside, and Denzel is knocked out. On the lawn, right? Yes. On a bench on the lawn, yeah. with one sock off. And Daryl, he said the funniest joke ever. He said, you're going to wake up in the morning, and there's going to be a wolf licking vomit off Denzel's lips. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one of the coolest motherfuckers you'll ever meet. Who, Denzel? I used to hoop with Denzel. I heard he's cool like that. That motherfucker's so god. Like, somebody just ooze cool. Fate, he walk uh... in the gym, cool. He fucking passed you the ball. Like he's he's a regular dude. I remember one time I was in the mall in Atlanta. And you know, you don't you never know how motherfuckers are gonna be outside of LA. Like, you know, he's in the mall and people are like, oh shit, oh shit. And I was like, D. Motherfucker walked all the way across the mall to come talk to me. And people are like, who the fuck are you that you can call? You <laughs> can yell D. Though. 